our universal family. Rivers of energy are pouring into your chalk crease November 1, 2013. By Wes Anak. Humanity is finding and rediscovering endless and bountiful joy and bliss with your reality and the experiences that play out before you, and as we have in the past we reiterate that allowing your existence to simply be and to play out in the manner it's intended to will see you able to navigate your experience and the lessons you are being given much easier. One of your aims in incarnating on the earth has been to learn and grow from within the lower vibrations, while for many of you subsequently lifting up the collective and helping show the way for the rest of your planet to see the light and evolve. You've learned much amidst the course of your experience, and while you stand at a pivotal moment in your collective awakening and you have much to offer your planet indeed, we ask you to remember that you are experiencing a personal ascension process amidst helping others and that you must allow yourselves the necessary time and energy to rest and integrate the ever purer energy you are being given. Uniqueness is intended to unify. It's important to allow yourselves to integrate this energy as it leads you to deepen spiritual perceptions that'll awe and amaze you when attuning to it, because it's very powerful and has the potential to drain you if not properly integrated. Allow yourselves to rest when you feel it's necessary, and when you feel the enthusiasm to be a part of your new paradigm and humanity's spiritual evolution, you can throw yourselves into your work and produce as much as possible for the benefit of your collective. We, your family from beyond the ever-thinning veil, have worked with much of ourselves on your planetary ascension and the general awakening of your populace. There's much needing done before your collective can reach the point of being able to unify and work together to build a new paradigm far away from the control and personal agendas driving your current, and we have faith in the awakening public to continue to act as beacons for change and show the way despite what you perceive to be differences between one another. You're all unique and individual and everybody possesses their own perspective, but remember that this is intended to unify you further rather than divide you. You're meant to come together while performing your respective individual work, and any future coordination between conscious souls will be met with much jubilation in the higher dimensions because a unified populace will be able to achieve a lot indeed. Souls from all across your planet are being called in the way that best suits them to be a part of the enacting of your new paradigm, and we ask you to see the amount of progress you've achieved while keeping in mind what needs done still because you've done much more than you tend to give yourselves credit for. As has been mentioned by other higher dimensional sources, you dear souls on the earth tend to sell yourselves short and convince yourselves that you are much less than what you truly are. You're the universe, source incarnate in a lower dimensional body on a lower dimensional planet working to uplift yourselves and the collective into understanding who and what you really are. The Next Evolutionary Step your power and ability to create and so so much change couldn't be expressed enough, and while events on your world may look bleak, we can say with love that our efforts and yours combined will see humanity happily avoid any negatively oriented timelines or futures that see the old paradigm in play in much greater measures than it currently is. We refer to doomsday scenarios wherein survival of the fittest becomes the rule of the day all across your planet. Rather than these old qualities continuing to be expressed and felt, Humanity is ready to enter the next cycle in your evolutionary growth, which is a leap you've long been destined to take. The majority of your society as it stands at present existed in Atlantis and many souls were ready then to take their next evolutionary step, but the sinking of Atlantis and the warfare that preceded it saw your collective avoid the ascension timeline and take more lower dimensional cycles. You now stand at the end of your last cycle wherein you ascend into greater understandings and perceptions and we stand by your side with love and appreciation for the achievements you've already been able to make in your personal lives and on the world stage. Understand the magnitude of the personal work you're each doing for your ascension, because the work you perform for yourselves helps others when their time comes for personal growth and lesson learning. In a future that could seem anything but positive from the current perspective many on your earth possess, you have so much to look forward to. The responsibility lies in the awakening public. Economic woes and pollution concerns paint a bleak future for humanity, but the understanding that you are being looked after and divinely guided by Source and by us, your family from the stars will help you see that the future you are heading into is both bright and will be built by humanity after your understanding of the need to come together is brought about. Despite the work we have and continue to do, we don't encourage looking toward us or any source other than yourselves to bring about the future you've heard so much about. 
we'll continue to happily assist your planet and do everything we can from behind the scenes, but we're unable to have a say in the most important decisions being made on your planet. The responsibility lies in the awakening public to begin building your future, but we encourage the understanding that we're indeed here for you and have much to offer you in the way of assistance along your evolution. In this overall collective speaking with you currently are myriad races and civilizations who you'd refer to as extraterrestrial or galactic. Many of us are fifth dimensional, but our lineage is far more diverse than the fifth dimension. Many of us have come from star systems very close to your Earth, and needless to say, the closest star systems, to Earth, with planets that have been discovered by your scientists boast brimming and advanced life. There are few planets throughout creation that don't boast brimming life, because the purpose of creation and of each galaxy and universe humanity has yet to discover is to exist, to love, to evolve back into the understanding of ourselves as the creator of our existence. In evolving from our respective planets, we've joined together with various federations and organizations with the intent of helping as many civilizations and planets as possible find the awakening we've been able to find. Many of you have read channeled communications purporting to come from these federations and organizations, and communicating with humanity is just one facet of the work we happily and lovingly perform for your ascension. Heart-centered telepathy The fifth dimensional humans speaking with you, along with the rest of us who are the closest with your planet hail from star systems such as the Pleiades, and exist partially cloaked in your atmosphere in our ships and partially outside of the Earth existing on motherships or choosing to help the Earth from our respective home planets or the planets we've branched out to and chosen to live on. Needless to say, Pleiadian souls can easily live in various other star systems of advanced civilizations, and it's not uncommon to find a great number of Pleiadians in the Syrian star system for example. There's brimming life waiting just beyond your conscious perception to pick up on and chat with and the manner in which we're communicating with you through our scribe is purely telepathic. Telepathy is just as much heart-centered as it is mind-centered, and our scribe is bringing our energies through his heart and mentally interpreting the impressions we're giving as he translates them into the writing that'll be produced from this discussion. We've spoken with humanity telepathically through what could be seen as channels for centuries of your time, and while channeling us has been picked up on more recently in your society, it's been performed nearly endlessly as it's preceded your physical contact with the various civilizations who are the closest with your planet. We're waiting and willing to make open widespread contacts with humanity, but we understand and respect the perimeters in place and seek to help awaken you from beyond the veil until we can openly land without the worry or fear of our presence amongst your general populace. Myriad evolved humans and energy beings. The understanding has been fabricated in humanity that there's no conscious life in what you've seen as space that's been discovered, and your perception of extraterrestrials has largely been shaped and molded by the television and movies you've been given for decades of your time. When humanity understands that myriad evolved humans and energy beings exist around your planet and are peaceful and harmonious in nature, seeking to spread such harmony to your planet, the fabricated mindset of evil alien invaders can diminish and you can understand us for who we are at heart. Individuals comprising what's been referred to as the Cabal work rigorously against humanity's undistorted understanding of your star family, because like incarnate souls who've seen the light and work to awaken your populace, we have much to give and spread that'll vastly improve your understanding and quality of life. When the collective is unified and the differences between you no longer feed division and hatred, you'll be much more easily able to accept our presence and the general influence of the lower vibrations will diminish. You have a long road ahead of you indeed in breeding unity, and in many ways it'll be necessary for the general public to be shocked into awareness. Keeping this in mind, we seek not to overwhelm but continue to stand ready to make contact with your planet as the collective vibration continues to lighten, naturally and with your efforts. You can aid the rising of the collective vibration in every moment if you make the effort to walk your talk and display the divine qualities in every aspect of your lives. It becomes much easier to surrender the mental need to control your existence when understanding the bitterness that attempting to hold on to what you perceive as right and wrong can cause. Monitor the unhappy feelings that can arise and result from employing resistance in your lives. Monitor the times when you could avoid putting yourselves on a low vibration, and take the lessons you're given in stride knowing that ultimately, 
you're being led back to realms wherein worry is a thing of the past. Constant bliss and ecstasy. Earthly words don't do justice to the expression of just how joyful your experiences in the higher dimensions are going to be. Constant bliss and ecstasy surround every facet of consciousness in these wonderful higher dimensions, and as you absorb this communication, you're being given slightly distorted doses of higher dimensional energy. You're absorbing the energy our communications arrive on the back of as you read the words we're giving, and many of you who feel yourselves especially attracted to reading channeled messages are more attracted to feeling the energy that comes with them. Each of you can open up to a connection with us and channel us if you wish, and the energy will impart unto your evolving temples when doing so can help remind you of the reality of everything you've come to know and feel within regarding heaven and the higher dimensions. You're growing back toward heaven as you embrace physical and spiritual evolution, and you're being given a higher dimensional perspective with each attempt you make to attune. As more souls are led to step up and begin using their voices to mend the physical problems plaguing your reality, so will more spiritual revolutions occur in the minds and hearts of a growing number of souls who no longer resonate with the old paradigm and the things that have kept it in motion. Lower Vibrational Purge those of you who are awakening and consciously undergoing your spiritual evolution have and will continue to purge everything from your lives that no longer matches the realms you are growing back toward, and this will come about in the form of those things that perhaps once worked for you no longer resonating. You're expanding and embracing new ways of living and being as you rediscover the higher dimensions, and your ascension process can entail giving up some things that worked for you in the lower dimensions but that no longer resonate or assist you in the ways they have for so long. We can only recommend embracing this and understanding that every change being made is for your evolution and growth into a greater state of awareness and perception. As we make our final impressions for this communication, we express that rivers of energy are pouring into your opening and expanding chakras at this time. Feel the whooshing and rushing of this energy as it comes through your chakras and helps you adjust to purer states of consciousness, and remember that we're always and forever with you, offering guidance advice or a shoulder to cry on when you require it. We're here to serve you, dearest souls, and upon evolving you'll find your desire to serve increase dramatically. Thank you to our universal family.